Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today what we're going to go ahead and do is unbox and take a look at the ASUS LGA 1151Z170-K motherboard. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start opening up the motherboard box. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is like peripheral stuff here with the bag with the actual motherboard in here. Let's set this off to the side for just a moment. See what's actually, see what's actually in the box first of all. Okay. So we have the IO shield, ooh, which is nicely colored. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Uh, this, uh, if I had to guess, this is for the M.2. Some screws for that, we'll find out later. Uh, instruction stuff, instruction stuff, user guide, and CD, perfect, okay. All right, and then what's in this thing? How do I get this open? How about I just slide it out? Ah, there it is, okay. SATA cables, uh, one is right angle, nice, nice. So let's get that other motherboard back out here. Other motherboard is the only one I have, all right. Yo. There it is. Let's let's take it out. Always make sure, guys, that you discharge your static electricity before touching sensitive computer components, because it could be dangerous otherwise. And the motherboard box is non-conductive, so that's good. Okay, so we have four DIMM slots. We have a 24-port uh, power. We also have the USB 3.0, eight eight pin power for the CPU. Uh, let's see, two PCI Express, I'm not sure if, I think they're both 16. Then we have four SATA 3 connectors, two more here, and then a SATA Express. Um, what else do we have? Two more PCI slot, slots, M.24 for a solid state, if you want that. That's where the processor goes, CPU fan. Hmm, how many case fans does it take? I don't know, let's take a look. All right, so the best way to probably do this is I'll just take some uh, some shots of it so you guys can see everything, and I'll read off the specs to you guys, and we'll enjoy that. So let's switch to that now. The ASUS Z170K is an ATX motherboard that supports Intel's latest LGA 1151 processors. It has a sleek black and gold design reminiscent of the gold Power Ranger from Power Ranger Zio. It supports up to four DIMMs of DDR4 memory, up to 64 gigabytes, capable of being overclocked at 3,466 megahertz. The motherboard includes one PCI Express 3.0 X16 slot, one PCI Express 3.0 X4 slot, two PCI Express 3.0 X1 slots, and two standard PCI slots. The Z170 chipset can support RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. For storage capacity, the motherboard has six SATA 3 ports capable of up to 6 gigabit per second transfer speeds, one SATA Express port, and one M.2 port. The Z170K also contains two 4-pin chassis fan ports. On the rear I.O., you have a PS2 port for both the keyboard and the mouse, a VGA port, a DVI-D port, as well as an HDMI port. The motherboard also includes one of the all-new USB Type-C port, which is completely reversible and capable of up to 5 gigabytes of transfer speed. The rear I.O. also has two USB 3.1 ports capable of up to 10 gigabit per second transfer speeds, two USB 2.0 ports, a gigabit LAN port, as well as standard rear audio. So that's it for the overview of the ASUS Z170K motherboard. I'll go more in depth on less physical traits at a later date once I get it installed in my system and I'm able to work with the BIOS to see how well the board overclocks. But from the brief introduction, the Z170K is nearly everything one would need in an entry-level overclocking motherboard. Sure, you won't be able to run triple or quad SLI, but you'll be able to get everything you need out of it for standard setups. You'll be able to overclock your K chips for Intel and it'll work. So thanks for watching part two of my build guide project where I'm going through unboxings and overviews of all the components that I'm going to be installing in my system. And then I'm going to culminate that with a build log at the end of all of it. So subscribe if you want to keep up with the parts that I received from my system. And you can also check the card in the top right hand corner for the videos that come next in the project. I'll be releasing those videos every day this week. 
And with regards to my build guide project, it would not be happening without woodware. I recently made the move overseas to South Africa and was worried I wouldn't find a retailer on par with Newegg, NCIX, or Tiger Direct, and I'm glad Wootware proved me wrong. Wootware is a South African-based computer components retailer. They aim to make it easy for people to buy PC parts online affordably with delivery straight to your door, and I can tell you that of out of all the retailers I searched through, and it took me a while, Wootware had the cheapest price on each of the components I'm using in the build guide project. While there still is a noticeable price difference in parts from their US counterparts, uh, Wootware does their part to keep the prices as low as possible. They do this by making sure there's no credit card surcharge by accepting only EFT or cash deposit payments. And this leads to most products actually being several hundred and rand less than the leading competitors. And not only do they have phenomenal prices on a wide variety of computer components, but they also have a quick, responsive, and knowledgeable customer support staff that makes the computer purchasing decision even easier. I know I use it several times when I was trying to uh, uh, figure out how to build this Skylake build. And in addition to providing computer components, they also offer a custom-built PC option so you won't have to mess around with building computers if all you want is an affordable, powerful system that works when it arrives at your doorstep. So if you're in South Africa, head on over to wootware.co.za to check out their immense selection and woot up your life. So that's it for this video, guys. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if you thought it was poop, but leave a comment down in the comment section below to let me know what I can do to improve future videos. Also, if you're located outside of South Africa, namely in the US, you can use my Amazon affiliate code down in the video description to purchase the components, and it will give me a small kickback that supports my channel and helps me out a lot. So I'll see you guys again next time. Cheers.